Hey, I'm Matthew Tansley and I help build the Profit Farmers platform. So here's a review from Lorenzo. Uh, you can have a read of that. Uh, basically the content of his review, it makes it clear that Profit Farmers are scumbags that give people terrible advice, tell them to just keep eating on that crypto, uh, always straight up steal money, right? Hmm. Well, the reality is that actually Lorenzo is either a fake account designed to just harm businesses or he's just a very entitled little boy who likes to throw lies around to make himself feel big. So you can see from this support ticket, this is the first interaction we had with Lorenzo. And he immediately says to us that he wants a refund for his trial period. Um, that's a $21 trial period. And he doesn't really give any reasoning and he hasn't actually used our platform at all at this point. And all he says is that during trading, he doesn't feel all right. Probably it doesn't fit his character. Hmm. So I would probably pause here and say, well, that's great, right? That's the point of a trial period. We have that so that people can figure out whether trading is right for them, whether they find the platform useful. And we charge a token amount of $21 to cover our server costs and a little bit of time on our customer support team. No big deal, right? But unfortunately for Lorenzo, that's not good enough. And he goes on to rant about how for some reason, he should be entitled to anything he wants at any time for free, regardless of the terms and conditions. And then when he doesn't get what he wants, he goes to Trustpilot and writes a bunch of lies about us, saying that everything we did was wrong, that the trades were wrong, um, that when he asked for a refund, we told him to buy more crypto. And you can see that none of that is true. And he says that we survive by stealing people's money. So all of this is defamation. Uh, slander, lies, however you want to put this. It's 100% against Trustpilot's reviewer guidelines. This is absolutely not allowed. But for some reason, when you talk to Trustpilot and you show them this, they don't care and they take no action and they refuse to look at the facts. And to make it even worse, they believe that this review deserves to be featured on the first page of all of the reviews that we get on our business profile with Trustpilot. So as you can see with Trustpilot, the page one for them is this, this neg very negative review, which actually I've had to also make a video about because it's, a, it's literally blackmail and Trustpilot don't care. Then the next review here is another big, long negative review. Again, I've had to make a video about this one because this account is fake, not real, and is spamming 30 plus negative reviews against all sorts of trading businesses. And he never really used our platform. Again, it's just not real. And yeah, we, we go down and then here we are onto the next one that I have to deal with. Sorry, you're watching this video. But it's just to let you know that you can't, you can't listen to these nonsense fake reviews that you find here and you can't actually trust Trustpilot, unfortunately. Um, the vast majority of our reviews are actually very positive. Um, you can see here 77% of five-star reviews. For some reason, the way Trustpilot run their algorithm is that the, anything for them most relevant is anything that will hurt a business as much as possible. And for you to understand that, you'll need to watch a full-length documentary that I'll be creating. I'll put a link to that below this video when it's ready. You can check that out on my other channel, Money and Mirth. That one will go into how Trustpilot and other review sites are used to attack businesses and get money out of those businesses, similar to how the mafia run a protection racket scheme. And they do that by failing to remove terrible reviews. And rather interestingly, when these bad reviews show up, it's always around about the same time that we start receiving emails offering to sell our untraceable positive reviews to fix our profile. So you can see the game that's being played here and Trustpilot are 100% complicit in this arrangement because you can spend weeks and weeks on speaking to them, showing them very obvious factual evidence, showing them that these are in breach of their reviewer guidelines, but they refuse to do anything about it. So yes, uh, you might not be aware, but there is a big underground business going on behind the scenes, behind all of these review sites, and that is people trying to sell services to make you buy these products. Um, as you can probably tell, I don't really play the scammer game. I would much prefer to make videos like this that educate you on the truth of the situation, show you how the world is really working. And again, if you want to learn more about that, you can come over to my channel and check that out. So 
Yeah, just in case you think I'm crazy, um, here's another example. If you go to YouTube and you put in Trustpilot Blackmail, you will find lots of other examples of other business owners who are basically literally being blackmailed by Trustpilot with Trustpilot trying to force them to take very expensive premium plans from them. Otherwise, they will give them a bad review profile. So there you go. Last thing to say is that, look, Profit Farmers obviously isn't uh, a company that's stealing money, telling people to shut up and buy crypto no matter what. All of this kind of stuff is all nonsense. We're not scamming anybody. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do this. You can go to the website. You can sign up for a free account. You can test ride the platform for free. Uh, just like Lorenzo did, you can get a, tr a trial period to try out absolutely all of the features unlocked for 21 days, and that includes a training course. And you can do that for 20 bucks. Now, if we were scamming and running a, a weird sort of scammy business like that, there's no way that we would set the business up to be that transparent where you can get free access to everything to try it out. All of the results are published. There are verifiable case studies and member stories. It's all there. It's complete nonsense. And all of these fake reviews are just, most of them, nearly all of them now these days are just complete garbage. There are a few um, negative reviews that we've had over the years, which I personally find very helpful because they've been great feedback to help us release new features for the business. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the negative reviews, particularly over the last two to three years, have all been fake. Um, and they've all just been like this. And it's sad that I'm having to make these kind of videos, but it's unfortunately the world we live in. The last thing I want to say is that, look, crypto trading is obviously high risk, high reward. It isn't for everyone. And again, that's why we suggest that you try things out for free and have a look at whether trading works for you or not. And that's basically it. Other than that, don't forget, there seems to be a huge bull run in crypto for 2024 and 2025. I recommend you make the most of it and don't let people like Trustpilot push you away from getting involved. There seems to be a lot of effort going on with big businesses and politics to regulate normal people out of crypto and keep you away from the gains that are being made. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And if you're again watching this because you've been on Trustpilot, sorry, this might be a bit of a a shock to the system to realize what a scam everything seems to be but this is the world we live in and again i invite you to look up my other channel money and mirth and learn more about the world and how it's actually working and if you're a business owner watching this i'd love it if you could get in touch and we can try and support each other a little bit and if you're also having issues with trust pilot let's try and get this message out there and try and shut this shit down all right thanks very much bye now